Hi everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a special episode for you today. It's a two-parter. We're going to discuss major ideas revolving around the next round of stimulus checks. That's right, you heard me correctly. I fully believe you are going to see that happening in the near future. What's that mean? I think before the end of 2024, you will see a second round. Or I should say second round. How many rounds do we have? A lot. Uh, how about a new form of stimulus? One way or the other, they're going to put out a stimulus check by the federal government because things are going to get nasty in the U.S. That deals into the second part of this. And that's dealing with are the Fed, is the Fed done? Are they done raising rates? Are we seeing the end of the Fed absolutely crushing the economy as best it can, even though it can't? It keeps punching it in the face. The economy keeps punching back. What am I talking about? The unemployment level keeps dropping. They are killing it out there. But there are a few things as we look forward that is the Fed done raising those rates? Because that's the million dollar question. For those following me, you know I have a lot of bonds and treasuries right now and TMF, which is a triple leverage 20 year. So I am looking out, I'd say going back to the future, if that makes sense, because we're going to look back in history and see what happens when they start to cut the rates and all this good stuff and talk a little bit more about these stimulus checks. There's a lot to cover. Now, I've been over there in my Patreon buying some stocks, getting loaded up. If you guys are interested in following along, I do have the link down in the description. You can come over and see what stocks I've been adding on and join the community. Take it to the next level. Stop chasing the crumbs. Come on over and join us. You can see the different levels. We have a private Discord, the portfolios, all kinds of stuff. And I'm looking to load up over the next few days and take advantage of where this market's at because I think a pullback's coming. And there are some things I can do to try to make money on that, which for those over there, you know what I'm doing. Now, what's the big thing? Right here it is. Let's get into it. The Fed will not raise rates again. The Bond King has come out and he said this. He, he, and what I like about this, he's a billionaire. He knows his stuff, but he, he's honest with everyone. He says, look, I'm going to be right about 70% of the time, 30% of the time not right. He goes, I feel pretty good. What do you get down here? Uh, right here. I predict the Federal Reserve will be cutting rates substantially soon. He said in a tweet in March, I am wrong about 30% of the time, so factor that into my, my decision. The feds will not raise rates again, he said in a tweet. So interesting, interesting stuff. And the bond market, people don't understand this. The bond market is your go-to way to kind of tell the future as you look at the markets. They always say you can look at all these different metrics to figure out how things are going to happen. You can look at leading economic indicators, what's pricing and what, all these things. But for the most part, if you want the, the, the most solid way to look at it, look at the bonds. They're pretty, pretty accurate when we look at this. So we'll go into this. I wanted to show you this because once we get into the bonds and we start to look into the Fed rate tool and this prices in what they believe the Fed's going to do. And why do I tell you this? Because there's a way to make bank off of this if we're correct if this thing's correct which i can tell you for those who have been watching my channel we have been watching this thing for years it is very very accurate in terms of what you're going to see out there compared to other metrics it's not a hundred percent but i can tell you this it prices in what they believe and if they miss it doesn't call what's supposed to happen which it's been calling almost every time it's calling what the fed is going to do Right now, it's calling for the Fed, and it, I'm telling you, it's been very accurate with this. It's saying the Fed's probably just going to hold tight once we get to June 14th. I am on its side. I believe the same thing. That's why I continue to load up on my treasuries. I think one of the best stocks to buy now, you can go with TLT. That is the 20-year treasury ETF. Solid. You don't have decay. It's not leverage. You can go with that. Uh, for those who want the risk, like me, you can go with TMF. A little bit more risky for those with a higher risk tolerance. Why? Well, if they start cutting rates sooner than the market believes, watch out, TMF should be, begin to run nicely. But if they don't and it sticks to the Fed and it goes the whole year, TMF could be a, uh, it could be getting beat up a little bit. And we could see it going back down to the seven, six dollar levels. We don't know, but that's the thing. According to this, by the time we get to July, there's a 41.9% chance we have a rate cut. Not only do we not go up another rate hike, we're talking July, folks. Well, the end of July, we it's almost a coin flip that they're cutting rates. Remember, they're all, so much that, well, we're not, we're not going to cut rates. We're going to hold for the long term. We're going to crush it because they can't 
have a Volcker type moment where they have to absolutely crush everything, cause two recessions, all kinds of nastiness to get the inflation back down. But I, I think they're going to be surprised when inflation comes down because of a recession and that they're not going to have to wait as long because when you get to September, look at this. There is now a 78.6% chance we have at least one rate uh, cut. I'm so used to saying hike that I'm going to set it again. A rate cut. And then down here, 28.1% chance we have two rate cuts by then. So November, what are the odds? Well, here you go. Now you have a 90, almost 99% chance of at least one rate cut by November 1st. November 1st, the day after Halloween. That We're talking big time odds of that. And look, there's actually a, a chance that one of these is a double rate cut. That is crazy. And by the time we get to December, there is a chance of at least one double rate cut and 28% chance they went four cuts. July, September, November, December, 28% chance. There is a 78% chance by then, and we had 75 basis points knocked off. Folks, this is the leading indicator. I'm not here to debate with you what I believe. This is what the bond market is pricing in right now. Somebody is wrong. Do you believe the bond market with the trillions of dollars out there, or Old Uncle Jay Powell, who brings muskrat souffle to Thanksgiving. I'm not trusting him again. Not after the last three times I fell for it. What I believe is the bond market's right. And so if you believe what I just showed you, you believe the data, you believe, why would they be this way? If the Fed says we're not lowering rates until next year, some people have it priced in that they're not going to drop rates until the end of Q1 in 2024. If that is the case, and you got two sides to this, the trillions of dollars in bonds or the Fed's word. Remember, the Fed told us it was transitory. It's transitory. Inflation's transitory. It'll go away. It's going to come and go. We're good. It's not what happened. Now they're telling us we're not going to have to drop rates all the way until 2024 sometime. And I think somebody's wrong here. I know where I got my money. Looking at the leading economic indicators, seeing... That's, we got eight out of 10 backwards. That's ugly. I'm gonna tell you, that's recession time. We have the steepening of the two and the 10 year right now. Oh, just not good. It's not good. In other words, a recession's getting near. It's getting close. It still hasn't flipped again. Once it flips back to the right way, that's when we're gonna be real close. And so a lot of things going on. That leads us into looking at what we got. I wanted to pull up the 20 year. You can see today up 2.48 with the triple leverage. It's been under attack in the last two weeks. All right, it's been under attack, very volatile. It's moving a lot. Uh, everybody's trying to figure out what the Fed's gonna do. And I can show you this right here. You can see it today, for the last five days, beat up pretty bad, 3.4% down. Now it's not gonna move like substantially compared to like some of these other ones, but it does move a lot. And you can see over the last month, down 9.24. Got beaten up. The bears have won with TMF so far. But here's the thing I want to show people. So what happens, Mo, after the Fed decides to hold rates really, real low or go backwards? Well, this is the debt ceiling issue back here in May. And you can see they solved it, uh, I think it was the first week of August. So you can see TMF went up 25% back then. But after that, the Fed came out and said they were going to keep rates low. To me, reversing and cutting could give us a gain like this. You start to see big gains, 90, 80, 90 something percent up in just a few months. Uh, to me, that is the possible future of this. Why? Because once the, the Fed wants to get back down to lower rates, stimulate the economy, and they're going to have a reason because we're going to see a major recession. We're going to see major issues. When the Fed gets that rate lower, TMF, especially though, it's going to do very, very well. Now, the question is, is it time? For those that don't want the risk, I got one for you, TLT. This is a 20-year treasure right here, just an ICETF 20-year treasure. And you can just follow along with it. You can see it does well, and we're down here at these lows because the Fed tightened. And you can see when the Fed started to tighten, 
right here and as it goes down it got 45 percent down and that's not even the triple leverage this is just the 20 year so now that we're down here in my opinion i believe the worst is way over and it's time to look at what the fed's going to do if they're going to start cutting rates that's going to be a positive for treasuries now for those that don't know the longer date the treasury the more it will swing the more it'll move and so the 20 year will be more reactive to anything the fed does so if the fed starts cutting rates well boom the 20 year is fantastic it won't uh the seven to ten year won't move as much the five year won't move as much as both of them you get my point and so that's kind of what we're looking at and i'm going to play that and that's how i wanted to come out here and just talk a little bit and that, the other thing is where we go with this this stimulus check because i do believe a stimulus check is on board and i know what you're thinking isn't that what got us into this problem though it is and it isn't it, it's a combination the problem was the stimulus check did what it was supposed to do but not everybody went back to work once they got the stimulus checks if you look at the labor force now compared to pre-covid it's not even back to where it was then in other words a lot of people who quit work just never went back and that was the main issue because now employers to get them to come back to work had to pay more money they were they needed them now but they weren't ready to come back because they got a lot of stimulus checks they burnt through that stimulus and then they eventually had to slowly get back into the workforce and we're seeing that uptick you're seeing more people finally go back to work but it's taking time not everybody's going to jump back some people just aren't going to go back and so the, the employment levels aren't where we need them to be once they get back up to pre-pandemic levels you're going to see some pain because all of a sudden the demand is dropping we have the employment going higher you're seeing now that it was two jobs for every worker now we're and then it was 1.7 now we're at 1.6 it's dropping it's not going to happen overnight it is a slow process but eventually you might get to the point that there's too many workers for each job and that's not good that will absolutely kill this economy because you need people to be able to go out and make money get jobs and everything else employment and then the wages you think they're bad now because they're not keeping up with inflation they'll drop even more because employers won't have to pay as much to hire people then get rid of somebody hire somebody at a cheaper uh, wage and so stimulus checks are eventually going to have to happen because we're going to have a major recession because the fed's going to overdo it i think they already did overdo it i think the rate hikes were too much they could have been patient but they went too high we already see the rates are above where inflation is right now i think it was 4.9 we're at 5 to 5.25 that's constrictive very constrictive and a lot of the things the fed does takes anywhere from six months to 18 months to kick in fully we have rate hikes just last month and so well this month actually so when we look at that keep that in mind it's going to be a while before all the effects of these kick in even when they decide to cut it can get ugly and so i wanted to come out just give you opinion a little and let you know i believe the the stimulus checks will come back because the fed's going to have to get people uh, extended unemployment they're going to have to do because of, of the recession the last three recessions we have had stimulus checks i expect a recession again 2023 2024 possibly and you will have stimulus checks to get us out and it's easy for the fed and treasury to do that they can do that easily congress believe it or not would come together for that to help to get the government rolling again or get the economy rolling again and so i wanted to have a little heart to heart talk with everyone let you know where i see things going all right folks if you haven't done it one of the easiest things you can do if you're looking where to buy tlt tmf you can go check out my link down below for mumu they give you right now 10 stocks if you use my link for putting in $100 with your deposit. If you put in 1,000 or more, you'll get 20 stocks. And they can each be worth up to 2,000 apiece per stock. And of course, I do have the Weeble link. You can get 5.8% right now, a 30-day bonus. It's great to take advantage of it. And then uh, that's annualized, of course. But they also give you up to 12 stocks worth up to 30,600 for any deposit if you use my link below anybody in the family 18 and older get them signing up take advantage of it and then come on over to the patreon like i said join us see what it's all about that's what i got for you today let me know down below what you think where is this economy going are we going to see stimulus to checks again if they do it the right way believe it or not we can avoid all this inflation pain again i believe we actually get to a point of deflation because that's a whole different video but let me know where you think we're going to go. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.